In chapter one, you learned how to use a distributive property. You can use a distributive property to multiply two binomials or any length of polynomials. I'm going to show you three techniques to multiply polynomials. You can pick and choose whichever one you'd like. Um, they all will end up with the same answer. So the first technique is using the distributive property. And remember, the distributive property is when you take something outside of parentheses and multiply it by everything inside of the parentheses. So the first thing that I'm going to do when I multiply using this, the distributive property here is take the x and multiply it by x. And then take the x and multiply it by 5. But there's more than just x in this first parenthesis, right? I also have to use the 2 somehow. So I'm going to take the 2 and multiply it by x. And then I'm going to take the 2 and multiply it by 5. Now when you're doing this, you also want to make sure that you pay attention to whether something's positive or negative. Um, conveniently, letter A, everything's positive. So now I just write down what I get. x times x is x squared x times 5 is 5x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 5 is 10. Last thing I want to do is I want to combine like terms. So I've got 5x and 2x that can combine. So the official final answer to this would be x squared plus 7x plus 10. If you want to try letter B on your own, go for it. If not, follow along. First, I'll do x times x. Then I do x times negative 4. Then I'll do 3 times x. And then I'll do 3 times negative 4. So now I have to multiply. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Finally, I have to combine whatever I can. Negative 4x combines with 3x, and so my final answer is x squared minus 1x, or you can just write minus x, minus 12. You will typically get terms that combine at the end, so you always want to look for that. Example two is a method called the box method, um, and what you do is you take each part of the each part of the question, and you put it along either the side or the top of a box. So I'm going to do two x, and then minus three, and this is going to be x, and then plus five. But I'm just going to write five because I don't need to write the plus. So I'm going to separate it, and in each box, I'm going to write down what I get. So, and I'm multiplying. So 2x times x, which will go here, is going to be 2x squared. 2x times 5 is 10x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. You always want to check for things that combine. And here it's negative 3x and 10x. So my final answer is going to be 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. If you want to try letter B on your own, give it a shot. If not, follow me. Make my box r minus 5 and 2r minus 1. It does not matter which one goes on the top and which one goes on the side. 2r times r is 2r squared. r times negative 1 is negative 1r. Negative 5 times 2r is negative 10r. And negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. When you combine your terms right here, you get 2r squared minus 11r plus 5. This technique uh, called the FOIL method 
is very popular with students because it's a catchy acronym to help them remember how to multiply. Um, again, I don't care which technique you like or you choose to use. But the way FOIL works is it's an acronym for first, outer, inner, and last. So by first term, they're taking the first term in each of the polynomials and multiplying them. For outer, they're talking about the two that are on the outside all the way at the ends of the whole multiplication. So I've got x and 2, and they're multiplying those to get 2x. Inner is the opposite, so it's the two that are touching on the inside, and that would give me x or 1x. And then the two last terms are the last term in the, this binomial and the last term in this binomial, and that gives you 2. And when they combine them all together, they get x squared plus 3x plus 2. So flip your paper and let's do a couple of examples. This is almost identical to when we did the distributive property, only there's an acronym that goes along with it. So when you do your first, you get x times x. I'm going to write down the acronym. x times x gives me x squared. Outer, which would be the x and the negative 6, gives me negative 6x. Inner will give me the negative 3 and the x, so that's going to be negative 3x. And then the two terms that are last are negative 3 and negative 6, so that gives me negative, I'm sorry, positive 18. So let's combine x squared minus 9x plus 18. If you want to try example B on your own, go for it. I'm going to write down f O, I, L, so I remember what to do. And the two first terms will be 2x times 3x, and that gives me 6x squared. Outer is going to be 2x times negative 5, that's negative 10x. Inner is going to be 1 times 3x, which is 3x. And then last is going to be 1 times negative 5, which is negative 5. So I combine and I get 6x squared. Uh, minus 7x minus 5. For example 4, you either have to use the distributive property technique or the box method. Uh, you can't use FOIL because FOIL only works for binomials. And you see in example 4, there's a trinomial right here. So pause the video, pick either method that you want, and I'll write down what the answer is. I chose to use the distributive technique. Um, if you did the box method, you should still get the same answer. In, a, in hockey, a goalie behind the goal line can only play a puck in a trapezoidal region. A, write a polynomial that represents the area of the trapezoidal region. So we got to know the formula for area of a trapezoid. Well, that is one half height times base one plus base two. So let's plug in what we know. One half plugs in as one half. The height of the trapezoid is right here, x minus 7. And then base 1 is here, and base 2 is here. So x plus 10 plus x. Before I do anything, I'm going to combine so I'll write 1 half times x minus 7 times 2x plus 10. Um, so I'll use the box method for this. I'll go to the side, and I'm going to put x minus 7 on one side and 2x plus 10 on the top. Oh, I guess I didn't need to put the plus sign. Anyway, whatever. What I'm going to do with the 1 half is after I get my answer, I'll then divide everything by 2 to incorporate the 1 half. But I'll just do the polynomials because that's the more cumbersome part first. So two, or x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 10 is 10x. Negative 7 times 2x is negative 14x. And then negative 7 times 10 is negative 70. So the polynomial that I get is 
x squared minus 4x minus 70. Then when I incorporate the 1 half, my final answer is x squared minus 2x minus 35. In B, we have to find the area of the trapezoidal region when the shorter base is 18. So now they're telling us that this is an X, it's 18, right here. So luckily that's X, and wherever I see an X in my new area polynomial, I will plug in 18. So 18 squared minus 2 times 18 minus 35. Uh, when I do that, I get 253 square feet. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.